to the Sew Essential vlog. I'm here today to bring you another fabric haul because we are always adding new fabrics to our website. So I know that's the bit we all get really excited about. And I just think a vlog is a really nice way for me to be able to show you how the fabric hangs and drapes. You can get a better feel for the sort of size of the prints and the designs on the fabrics. And also what I will do today, which I know people have fed back is useful, is make suggestions for patterns that I would pair the fabrics with. So the other thing that I've had feedback about as well is people would like suggestions for a range of figures. So I've tried to do that today. I've tried to suggest things for everybody um, for all different figure types. So hopefully there's something for everybody in this vlog today. But before I crack on with all of these gorgeous fabrics you can see behind me, I just wanted to mention what I'm wearing, which is my latest make, which is Simplicity 8330 in our white and pink floral scuba fabric so I've always absolutely adored this fabric and you can get it on our website we'll pop the links below and you can get the pattern as well I'm not going to go into loads of detail today because I'm going to do a full blog post and I'll do a vlog on it as well at a few, in a future date um, but I just wanted to mention it so that you know which fabric this is because I'm absolutely in love with this fabric so yeah, without further ado, I'll now crack on with the new fabric. So um, the first one I wanted to talk about is this gorgeous double Georgette fabric, which is 100% polyester. So it's a woven. So there's lots of nice movement and drape, as you can see. Ideal for summer garments, drapey tops and dresses, that sort of thing. Um, really love the colourway, love the navy blue contrast with the bright splashes of colour which are tropical flowers and birds which I know are always very popular um, and I just think it's a really really gorgeous fabric, it's one of my favourites. So the patterns I wanted to suggest pairing that with, um, if you're looking for a pattern for a fuller figure We've got the cashmere pattern range on our website and they really are fantastic because they don't require a full bust adjustment. Um, I'm not going to lie, that's not something I've ever had to deal with, but I know to a lot of people that will be music to your ears. So they're definitely worth checking out. And the one that I thought would look nice made up in that fabric um, is the le one of the latest ones, which is new on the website as well, which is the Webster top and dress. Um, so it's a sleeveless um, top and dress with a lovely little crossover strappy detail on the back and a high-low hem. Um, it's quite sort of loose fitting so it's nice and comfortable and cool for the summer um, and I think it would look really awesome made up in, in that fabric. Um, and then the other one that I would quite like to make myself, I've had it on my Pinterest board for quite a while, is Vogue 1483, which is a lovely jumpsuit or play suit, um, but I just absolutely love the play suit. I think it's really, really cute. It's got a V-neck, um, a zip down the front. It's an elasticated waist with a blues on effect at the top. Um, and it's got little sleeves if I remember rightly um, but I just think it's a really fun little play suit that um, because of the sleeves I would wear sort of day to day and I think it would look really awesome made up in that fabric so they would be my choices for the first one. Then we're going to move on to this gorgeous floral jersey print, uh, floral print jersey fabric which is a John Caldor um, just absolutely gorgeous colours once again and then although it's a jersey it's um, a crepe jersey so there isn't huge amounts of stretch in it there's a little bit of stretch in it but it's not as stretchy as um, a lot of jersey fabrics would normally be so just bear that in mind um, but I think it would be fine for Simplicity 1653 which is a lovely wrap dress um, and it's an amazing fit pattern so again this caters for everybody it runs right through from slim fit to average to plus size um, and yeah it's got lots of different sleeve options there's something for everybody and I think it would look really pretty made up in this fabric um, the other alternative as well um, is I think a nice pencil skirt would look lovely in this fabric and there's a pattern that I've used before which is McCall's 3830 and it comes in five different lengths um, so again there's something for everybody it's a really simple skirt there's no waistband although of course you could add one if you wanted to um, so you just need to check they are that one is a woven pattern and obviously this is a fabric with a bit of stretch in it so you just need to consider the sizing with that but I think always just go for 
the bigger size if you're between sizes and then you can always size down um, and that's certainly what I did when I made this this dress was a woven pattern and obviously scuba is a stretch fabric but again not huge amounts of stretching it so I did start off with um, my size according to the pattern packet and then I ended up trimming it down a couple of sizes but you know you never know really until you start cutting things out and having a play around with them so but yeah I think this um this is really really lovely and I can just imagine that made up in a nice pencil skirt um so that's that one and then the next one I wanted to talk about was um the abstract retro print jersey which is this one here so this is um a really cool fabric as far as I'm concerned I think there's definitely a 70s vibe going on with this one I just think it's really lovely um, it is um, polyester um, a polyester jersey and I think it would look lovely again in 16 simplicity 1653 which is the one I was just talking about the amazing fit pattern um, I think a wrap dress made up in this would just look absolutely lovely um, and the other alternative suggestion I wanted to make as well was Jarly 2910 so for those of you that don't know we're now stocking the Jarly patterns as well um, and 2910 is a lovely faux wrap top um, and there's different sleeve options and different neckline options and actually on the pattern packet there is um, a similar fabric to this and I think it works really well um, so that would be my suggestion for that one and the amazing fit simplicity pattern that I mentioned 1653 I think would also be a really good pairing for this fabric which is emerald green and black um, jersey fabric it's just got a very very small ditzy print on it but really I think this would look really lovely made up as a wrap dress nice and drapey um, got quite a good amount of stretch to it so um, yeah it's just a really nice sort of simple um, colorway and I just think really effective um, would work well as that wrap dress so that's a bit of a favourite. I think I might have to give that one a whirl myself because I obviously quite like that, having picked it out a few times. Next fabric I wanted to talk to you about is another one that I absolutely love. Um, and that is this, um, is another jersey. So it's a knit jersey. Um, it's polyester and acrylic and it's a rose print. So it's definitely more of an autumn winter fabric, this one, but I know people like to be organised and get ahead of the game and start thinking about um, winter and autumn wardrobes early and planning ahead. So if you're one of those people, this is a really good buy and really good one to snap up. I just think it's just such a lovely, lovely print. Um, love the pink against the black background. And the patterns that I chose for this one, I thought just a really nice, simple um Jersey t-shirt top such as the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top or the Sewaholic Renfrew top would work really well with that. I could just imagine that with a pair of jeans and I just think it would look so nice and add a bit of a feminine twist to a pair of jeans. Um, and then the other pattern that I wanted to suggest was another cashmere pattern um, which was the Dartmouth top. So it's a crossover jersey top and there's quite a few different variations as well that you can mess around with that pattern and make it your own um, and I just think that would look really nice again made up in that lovely rose print knit jersey. Um, the next one I wanted to touch about, this is another one of my favourites, is this awesome, 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 oh, it's a bit heavy but tropical print um, or tropical flower Ponte Roma fabric. Um, I just love this. I just think it's really, really effective. Um, I think it would look really good made up in um, Simplicity 8330, which is the pattern that I'm wearing at the moment in the scuba. So because it's a ponte, it's quite a stable knit again. There's not huge amounts of stretch to it. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the um, pattern that I'm wearing, the 8330, is for a woven fabric, but because this, like the scuba, hasn't got huge amounts of stretch in it, um, I think it could work really well with that pattern. Um, again, you just have to be careful of your sizing and, and you know, always err on the side of caution, cut a size, you know, the right size or a size a little bit bigger because you can always downgrade the sizings and go down. Um, so I probably would cut a similar size to what I did. I went down two sizes for this dress um, to what my measurements said on the packet just because of the type of fabric. 
Um, so I probably would do that with this one as well, but I would always test it out before doing so. Um, and then the McCall's 3830 pattern that I mentioned earlier, which is a nice um, fitted pencil skirt. Again, I think that, that would work really well with that fabric as an alternative. Um, and once again, it's a woven, it's a pattern for woven fabric. So just be aware of that because that has got a stretch in it. But, you know, you can always just test it out um, and see see how the sizing comes up. Um, if you need to, just baste Base the, you know your fabric together and have a little try on that's what I tend to do and then mess around with the fit as I go um so yeah that's the tropical flower ponte and then we've got some more absolutely beautiful cotton lawns which I just think are so lovely for summer um so we've got this gorgeous hummingbird um cotton lawn I mean who couldn't like this? It's just absolutely beautiful. The flowers are beautiful. The birds are beautiful. The colourway is beautiful. It's got a beautiful drape. It's just gorgeous. And um, the thing that I thought would look really cute in this was the Gertie B6453 sundress pattern. So this pattern has been really, really popular this summer. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's a fitted bodice, um, strappy sundress, and there's an option for a fitted skirt or you can go for a full skirt. So again, that ticks boxes for lots of different people, whatever your preferences are. Um, and I think that would look really cute made up in that hummingbird lawn fabric. Um, the next one I wanted to talk about, oh, I insisted on buying this. I just love this. I just think it's so, so pretty. Um, and just a bit unusual as well because it is a floral, but it's a floral on a dark background and I think it just makes me think of summer evenings and it's just, I don't know, I just think the contrast of the colours is really, really lovely. Um, and my plans for this one, if I get round to it, would be to do a sew over it rosy dress, um, which again is a lovely fitted bodice, flared skirt or full skirt, sorry, um, sundress. It's got different options for um, the neckline and it is boned as well um, so that I thought that would be quite nice to um, put some boning into a into a dress and, and give that a whirl because I haven't done that before um, obviously Angela will help me with that but um, yeah I just think that's really really pretty I'm, I'm a big fan of that one um, and then one more for the cottons. This is a cotton poplin this time. And again, what a delightful print this is. Just so unusual, just different colours. And that's the thing I love is there are so many different colours, all of our fabrics. Um, we try, you know, we try not to just stick to our own personal preferences with colour. We try to mix it up and choose lots of different things. So there is something for everybody. Um, and I really, really love this one. I just think it's gorgeous. And um, my idea for this one I thought um, a sew over it ultimate shift dress would look really great in this and in fact on the pattern packet there is um, a, a similar sort of retro large floral print fabric um, on one of the on one of the women on the front of the packet um, and the dress is apparently a really quick easy simple sew and then there's options for um, frilly frilly necklines and um frilly sleeves you can kind of mix it around and mess about with it and make it your own so i thought that would work really really well as one of those shift dresses and then finally we've got a couple of crepe de chines so again another one that i absolutely love it's really hard working here because i can just never keep up with all the new fabrics we have i would have a wardrobe full of the fabrics we've got if i could but i just can't keep up but um, this is a lovely crepe de chine in an aqua colour background, um, got splashes of that lovely sort of almost magenta-y cerise pink on it um, and it's got a lovely drape, um, just lovely, lovely and lightweight and, and flowing, it's just beautiful. And this one I thought would look really good as 76, McCall 7601, um, which is a lovely flowy halter neck top, um, so ideal for summer. Um, and there are options for a cold shoulder and some frills going on if you want to really throw yourself into that current trend of frills and ruffles and cold shoulders. Um, but if you're not up for that, there is just a simple sort of halter neck option as well, which I think would work really well and which is quite flowy and drapey. Um, I think that would look lovely. And then also the Pendrel Blouse by Sewaholic Patterns I think would look really, really lovely made up in that fabric and I'd be very tempted if I can get round to it to do that. Um, because again, you've got 
um, options where there's very simple clean lines on that pattern or you can go for a bit of flounce and a bit of frill on the sleeves and, and make different versions of it so I thought that would be great and I also thought the pendrel blouse would work very well with this crepe de chine as well um, which is a lovely again it feels like a vintage inspired print to me um, and I just really love um, the colours again I think a really unusual combination and would make a really lovely pendrel blouse so I hope that you found that useful and I hope you're as excited about these fabrics as I am. As always, all of the links to our blog and to our website where you can find the patterns and the fabrics I've talked about will be below. So please have a look and also please do like and subscribe if you like what you've seen and we'll bring you more vlogs very soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.